Welcome to um, the event today to Haverley Manor Hotel. Um, before we get started, my name is Jess and I'm, I'm Head of Engagement at Barnwood Trust. There are many faces in here I know, but there are also many that I don't know and I'm really looking forward to meeting you today. Thanks everybody for making the effort to come along today to our third public meeting. What we're going to do today is share what we've been up to, get your ideas about what we want to do into the future. And we want to explore particularly with you some of the key questions about what do we do looking forward, 2024 and beyond. So we're an independent charitable trust set up over 200 years ago. We have a lot of investments which enable us to get millions of pounds of funding out into the community, into the county every year. But money is only part of the Barnwood story. We join with the people, communities and organisations in Gloucestershire's disability and mental health movement, encouraging change so that disabled people and people with mental health conditions have choice of opportunities, can access their rights and are included where they live. We listen and we add clout where we can to make change happen. We bring people together for a different conversation and explore big ideas and today is part of that. So what else do we do? We investigate the many complex issues and barriers faced by disabled people and people with mental health conditions. We undertake targeted research, develop projects, and run campaigns to influence the change that is needed. We partner with local organizations. We involve people with lived experience directly in our work and we look for better ways to use our funding for maximum impact. A key commitment for the Trust is to work in partnership with disabled people and people with mental health conditions. We've therefore taken a co-design approach to much of our work this year, supported by the development of Barnwood Circle, which again we reported on last year, and it's great to see so many of you here today. The description I've just given of the Trust and how we work is the product of some intensive co-design work with Circle members over several months. The co-design group needed to understand and to recognise the scope of our work to help us to develop a way of describing Barnwood that makes sense to everybody. Not an easy task. The co-design group also worked with us to develop the booklet about the Trust that you will see on your tables. This design will influence how the website looks and the information on it. And we are very grateful for the significant work that both groups have done, enabling us to improve our communications. A co-design group of experts with lived experience has worked to both co-create and contribute to the learning programme for the Empowered Employers campaign that has been running this year with Evenbreak, the recruitment specialists who have delivered the programme. This year, over 50 employers in the county have participated in our open learning programme. The five employers who we partnered with have completed a series of six learning sessions to support them in drawing up action plans. These will be reviewed by more experts with lived experience and they will be participating in an ongoing action learning set. There's a huge range of partners from local Gloucestershire VCSE organisations through to major commercial employers in the county. There's also a case study at the back about our Access to Nature programme of change, which has been gathering momentum throughout the year and involved 30 organisations in the county who provide outdoor activities leading to significant changes in access to both green and blue spaces. We also ran a themed funding round this year on short breaks for disabled children and their families, and this was also co-designed by experts with lived experience. We're delighted that, as a result, we've been able to fund six short breaks projects. The groups running them are currently all participating in a community of practice, sharing their learning from their projects as they deliver them. At the end of this process, the learning will be shared with Gloucestershire Children's Services to support the commissioning of short breaks by the County Council in the future. The short breaks topic area of work grew out of our research part of our listening and learning work and from our relationships with providers of short breaks and also the County Council. A final major area of work has been a review and revision of the criteria and application processes for the trust funds to individuals, organisations and groups in the county. 
The Trust now gives much more in funding than we used to. Our funding has increased from 1.36 million a year in 2019 to 3.29 million in 2022. And so we wanted to ensure that the way we do that reflected both good practice and our values. We held breakout discussions on four topics. The following is a summary of what we heard. The first breakout topic was how Barnwood listens and learns. Conversations were had across 10 small groups and key points were captured on a word cloud on the big screen. Themes that came up were people mostly prefer face-to-face -face discussions in small focus groups or interactive workshops with an opportunity to connect with other people. A clear purpose and good follow-up afterwards were felt to be important. Outreach came up a lot, reaching people where they are by attending community events and collaborating with community leaders. Storytelling was suggested as a tool to amplify people's voices. A big theme was accessibility. People talked about offering print and digital options for people to choose. And more is needed to overcome language barriers. Many people talked about Barnwood Trust promoting itself more widely as a good foundation for engagement. In addition, we heard appreciation for Barnwood Circle, the Trust's membership scheme. Finally, some suggested we look nationally to get ideas. This is a summary of the breakout session on funding for organisations. We asked whether Barnwood should prioritise open funding for organisations to do any kind of work that meets our goals, or whether it should prioritise themed funding for specific topics decided by Barnwood based on research. Most people said there was a place for both approaches. Points raised included open funding allows organisations to be reactive and also enables them to plan in the long term. Learning what works in themed funding can help to shape priorities for open funding. And, regardless of approach, the Trust needs to communicate what and how it funds clearly and loudly. How we talk about disability. Disability can be talked about in two ways, the medical model and the social model. The feedback we got was that the medical model is still the most widely used way of understanding disability, but there is a place for both. The medical model is helpful to ensure we get services we need to get the right support. And labels can help to know what you are dealing with and get the right assessment. But if we only look at disability through the medical model, it can limit what people can do. Sometimes the medical model is used to make assumptions both about what people need and what is possible. Seeing disability through the social model opens up opportunities. We need to see the whole person and not make assumptions. Invisible disabilities need to be taken into account more in social model practice. Don't assume someone isn't facing barriers if you can't see their disability. There was a call for Barnwood to be bolder about pressing organisations that it funds to take more of a social model approach to what they do and to look more at how they can reduce barriers. In the breakout session on investments, we asked whether Barnwood's investments should prioritise making financial returns or have the highest ethical standards. The majority of people said there should be a balance between profits and ethics and made reference to the following. The funding climate for VCSEs is difficult, so Barnwood's funding was important. It's important not to take too many risks in order to ensure there are funds to meet financial commitments. Ethical means different things to different people, and investments should reflect Barnwood's values. The event, which was attended by over 80 people, finished with an open question and answer session. We are already looking forward to Together with Barnwood 2024. If you would like to find out more about Barnwood Trust, please visit our website at barnwoodtrust.org.